everybody, Kat from Creative Crafts, and today's DIY is working with old towels. You want to know exactly what I'm doing? Then watch further. The list of things you're going to need is definitely is old towels. I have three of them. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need hot glue, uh, you know, sticks of, for the hot glue gun. And then you're going to need um, maybe a measuring stick if you want to measure. But I'm the type of person, I'm not a perfectionist, so I like to eyeball everything. So that's how I am. And so why don't we just start? Of course, you're going to need the glue gun, especially my favorite glue gun. Like I'm always saying on my videos, this thing drips like hell. Um, I can't afford to buy a new one. So guess what? I'm going to have to stick with this one. So I have a few other ones, but they're very old. One leaks from one out the other end because it's so old, the bigger one. And this one, um, is somehow it just overheats, gets, and the glue doesn't come out. So it must be plugged up from somewhere. So I'm not exactly how that happened, but that's how it is. Um, yep, that's it. So let's get started. So what we're going to do now first is you're going to decide how big you want your towels. So what I did is I took one of my towels here and what I did is I cut off, I cut off the, I cut off the ends here, as you can see, so that you don't have this here. I don't want it to have extra long. So I decided to cut off these ends. I did that to all the towels. I cut the ends off where, you know, I can't really use it. So, and that's it. But I left the sides on, on this one, on this one here. So now the next step is you need to take the towels that you want to cut up and strip them in a long strip like this. This is what I did. I just eyeballed it. I mean, they don't have to be perfect. So, I mean, for me, they don't have to be perfect. If you want to make it as a gift, and you want it to be perfect, then you can be a perfectionist and then make it perfect. But, like I said, I'm not a perfectionist. So then after I made the strips, of course I made sure I cut off all four, all four ends of the towel. And then I cut them all into strips like this. This is what I did. I looked online for... Um, ideas on how to make rugs for the bathroom and there's a lot of them with this braiding one where you braid it and I said you know let me try to do something different you know um, I decided I'm going to try to make a shag rug out of old towels so this is what we're doing we're gonna do let's hope this works out so now what we're gonna do is Turn on the glue gun, wait for it to drip again, and we're going to start first how we want to make the design on the rug. You have to decide. I have these two colors here, and I decided I want to take the dark colored ones and put a, a frame all around the whole four corners. I'm going to take my strip. I'm just going to twist it once. And then fold it, you know, twist it once and then fold it in half. And then it'll look like this, you know. Take it, twist, hold it, fold. And then when the glue gun is, is hot, what I want to do is I'm going to take the glue and stick it on here on the end. And then I'm going to stick it, let me put it over here, stick it like this. And I'm going to do this to the whole four corners first, and then I'm going to do it again, but this time I'm going to go around the four corners and use the these ones. I'm going to make a few rounds with them because these ones are pretty thin. This towel is pretty thick, so I'm going to go around several times with this, and then I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, and then I'm going to do it again with this one. And then so forth and so on. And try to keep switching and going back and forth. So everybody, so like I said, you're going to take your pieces. 
you're going to twist and then fold I just broke my nail well my, like I said my favorite glue gun I have more glue down on my table than I do anywhere else so you're going to glue these really close next to each other as close as you can and then what you're going to do is make sure you don't put too much glue on it because you don't want the rug to get hard because if you put too much glue you know how the hot glue gets very hard so you don't want to have that so you're going to do is make sure that you just put a very good amount you know just just enough that you know that it's going to stick and then you leave it the tip that I want to let you know is usually what happens here is uh, I glued it in the wrong place so the twist is coming up on that one but that's okay usually what happens um, when you put hot glue on these kind of towels because it has like a like a shag to it it's very difficult to peel off you won't be able to peel it off and if you wash it in a normal temperature water it sh the glue should not come loosen and it sh the pieces should not come off so this is one thing that I know for sure so let me twist this again and glue these two pieces here together so that it stays twisted If you have any other um, ideas what else I could do please don't don't hesitate to, to post something so like I said you twist very little glue not much and like I said with my glue gun I don't have to worry about it <laughs> I just just should just dip it over here And make sure you don't burn your fingers. I do that often. So you take your piece and twist, fold, and then you have this end where you want to put the glue on, where you folded it. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how much glue I have here on the side from this glue gun because how bad it is. I got it from Amazon so I'm just letting you guys know please do not buy this kind of um, from this brand here or write to them or whatever you want to do but I can tell you right now it's it just it just leaks it just constantly leaks I lose more glue having it dripping down here than anything And I try not to press too hard on it because if you do, more glue comes out and I don't want that. So you're going to do this all around the four corners. And you can see so far how it already looks. This is what you want to do. I'm not sure how this is going to come out. Let's hope that it does come out good. I haven't seen anything that's done anything done like this, like I'm doing right now, making a shag rug out of this. It's going to be pretty thick. But hey, I mean, it's a towel. Once you get out of the shower and you put your feet on there and you drip off, and when you're done, you just lean it over the, the tub. If you don't have a tub, and then um, hang it over something that um, it can drip dry or whatever it is. And then when you think you need to wash it, then you can wash it. So now I'm going down this way.
So as you notice now, I decided not to do the twisting anymore. I decided to just make it fold it. It looks, I think it looks much neater if you fold it here. It looks a little, yeah, it looks okay. But um, some of them still came unrolled. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm just going to fold it and I can glue them faster that way. So I'm just going to put a line of glue on the towel. And then I can put the folded parts on there right away. And it's actually faster. But you still have to make sure you put enough glue on it. Because if you don't put enough glue, um, it's not going to stick like you want it to. And it's it's going to be just wasting. So, And I think it looks pretty good like this. So I'm just going to take a whole bunch of these and, like I said, just fold. I'll take a few and fold in advance if you want to go faster. If you just do it slowly if you want, you can. You don't have to be um, in a rush with this since we're all in quarantine. Well, not in quarantine, but, you know, we need to be careful about going out right now. So I decided I'm just going to try to find ways to recycle. That's what my page is mostly about, being creative and also recycling. So and this is my way of saying, okay, you know, I have lots of old towels, some I drop bleach on. So I said, you know, let's see what happens with this. Because I looked on, like I said before, I looked online to see if I can find any kind of ideas about um, the rug. And I think this is going to be actually a pretty good, thick, stable rug. You know, it's not going to be a thin one. If you want it thinner... Then you can make the strips when you first cut it, you know, like these strips here, the long strips. What you want, if you want to make it um, not so thick like this one here, I would suggest that you to half, make this half, you know, and then you can um, take that half and half it. I, I'm, like I said, I'm just winging this because I'm not sure exactly how this will come out. But if it comes out really extra thick, I'm happy about that because then your feet will be nice and comfy when you step on the on the floor after coming out of the shower. So we have a bathtub also. So when we're done, we just can take it and um, pull it over the tub to dry. And then we can, re and when it's dry, we can put it back on the floor. Or whenever we take a shower, put it on the floor. Whatever you want to do. I just want to see how this looks. Something different on, on YouTube instead of always the same people always doing the same kind of stuff. So I've seen so many things about doing the braided rug and I decided that that's not what I want. So I decided I'm just going to do it this way. I think I'm going to try this one out and see what happens. I just hope I have enough glue. The stores are open here right now in Germany, but you have to wear a mask. And there's only unlimited people inside it. So if I wanted to go, I don't usually, I try to stay not to go out. Because I'm too, I had a scare last week. Um, my, I had a very bad cold and my, my doctor did a corona test, which I was terrified that I had it. But lucky, lucky me, I didn't. So... I um, guess I'm doing all the things correctly. Be very careful, like I said, with the hot glue.
a quick tip. If you want, you can, um, what do you call it? You can sew these on if you want. Sew each piece one by one if you want to do it like that. As you can see here, here's where I started folding it, and here is where I twisted it. So I like the way this looks better. So, I mean, that doesn't look so bad either, but when we're done, we'll see how much better this whole thing looks. Another quick tip, buy these Gorilla hot glue sticks. The Gorilla brand is... Um, much stronger than the cheaper ones. The, if you buy the cheap brands, somehow, I don't know why, they are more, with more silicone in it somehow, and it doesn't really stick to many things very well. So I suggest that you get the Gorilla Glue. That was another quick tip. So everybody, I finished going all the way around, and like I said, I like it better um, the straight way than this one here. This is where I folded the, um, twisted the, strips and I don't like the way it looks um yeah I just yeah, I try to take it off like I told you the hot glue sticks very well to these towels because of the the woven um strips that you know the towel pot because it's not smooth and it's sticking really well so I know that so I won't be able to take those off so I'm just gonna leave it like that you probably won't notice it after a while or maybe I can try to untwist them um, somehow where I twisted them but I doubt it because it's pretty pretty twisted some of them but it doesn't matter so now I'm gonna go with this side it's which like I said it's much thinner so I'm just gonna grab a whole bunch stick them in the middle here and I'm going to start I think I want to start on the long end put the towels up there where it's flat where I folded it and so I can end up on this part and the last so it would be easier so now I'm gonna go do the same thing I'm just gonna fold them and I'm gonna go the same way all the way down When you come to the corner area like here what I'm trying to do now with the pieces of towel is I'm making that that it, instead of going straight and straight I'm trying to make a curve here in the end with the towel so when I get towards the end I start turning the the, the strips slightly tilting so that they make a little curve so like I did here you can see that it's like curved and that's how I I would suggest you to do to all corners I did the same thing to the very ends and this is how you can make it look a little bit more um, neat you can go straight straight if you want it's your choice but I'm just saying this is how you can make um, the end look like a little curve is you do that yourself you curve the strips slowly while you glue them that's a quick tip so now I'm on my third row, as you can see here. 
and I will go around with the blue again and then I will go with this color and as I can see right now it may be that I'll have to get another towel other thing that I notice is um, the gaps when it, it opens up here on the side if you want you can stick just a not right near the top near the ends up on the sides and then press it together so that it doesn't spread open it's not going to break anything apart or anything if you just wanted to keep that don't put any glue on the top or too close to the top you got to remember when you get out of the shower you're going to step on it and as i can feel right now here it's going to be really nice and soft it's going to be like a pillow when you step on it you know so i can't wait until i'm done so now i'm going to go with the blue all the way around and like I said then I'm gonna switch and then I'm gonna keep going until I'm all done until I get into the middle and then we're done so let's go further here's another quick tip I would give you this tip with um, when you cut the towels up I suggest that you get one of these a sewers um, cutter which is like it has a wheel looks like a pizza cutter but it's actually a round uh, razor that you can cut the material with but easier and faster cutting it with your hands with um, scissors if you have good scissors cool, great but if you have to cut as many of uh, strips as you do for this project if you make a small rug fine but for this rug here I you could say basically I will use four beach size towels or sauna towels and um, I would suggest you to get have one of the, if you have one of those use that if you're gonna use normal scissors make sure they're really good or use a razor make sure you um, put, use a cutting board or a board that's protecting your table before you cut anything because you're gonna need a lot of these strips so um, well with me I could have made it half half the size what it is right now but I wanted to have it a little bit bigger and um, if you want to if I cut these down half the size I would have double amount of the strips right now but I decided not to do that I wanted to have just the normal the size um, rug how thick I wanted it so like I suggest it depends on how thick you want it for me I needed four beach towels you could say basically and um, yeah, that's my little quick tip. I think I'm making using up too much glue spraying it on on top of the towel and on the side so I decided that I'm just going to take a little bit of the glue and stick it onto the towel on the sides where I'm gluing it onto the other pieces here and on the bottom and then sticking it that I think that's probably the best way to do it right now to save a little bit of glue because I noticed that I'm going through the glue sticks like crazy and that's the last thing I want to do so I decided to do that. exactly what I'm doing this is my fourth row that I already did and I decided what I want to do now is I'm going to make two rows of the same color 
right now. So that's a little thicker. So you don't always have like this. I want to have like different kind of depth. So this is how I'm going to do it. So far, I think the rug looks, it looks great. I think be great to step on, you know, just cut off all these little, you know, hairs that you have hanging around here. But once you shake it off, all the extra hairs from the strings from the glue, which you can see tons of them here, take those all off. And once you get everything off and everything is settled, you can finally um, do the last piece. But like I said, there I used here about three beach towels, uh, sauna towels, you could say. And you're going to need a lot of hot glue. Um, if you want to take the time to do it, you can sew it by hand everything. If you have all that extra time, you can do that. Or you can, um, like I said, um, glue it like I'm doing right now. You, I try to pull off the ones here on this end where I twisted it. I try to fix it so it doesn't look so odd. But I, it was just difficult to pull. It was difficult to pull off. So I decided, you know, I'm going to leave it like this. Like right now, you have to go through this whole thing when you're done and pull off all those glue hairs, you know. If you work with a glue gun, you know what I'm talking about. So then let's go further. So I've been doing several different methods. And um, I have to go like this when I want to talk. I've been doing several different methods. And one of the methods are um, just taking the glue and pouring on the, make a line on the bottom. And then try to get a little bit on the sides of this side here. And then I fold the pieces and I slide it in there. It's, that is a quicker way of doing it. And then I decided at first, I thought I was using too much glue, but I decided that that, was, that wasn't the fact because I'm using the same amount. Basically, um, when I was um, doing it like this, I was like, like um, you know, when I'm, I was doing it like this here and then here, I, I noticed that I was using pretty much the same amount of glue. So I decided, okay, that's how I'm going to do it now. I'm just going to pour it, a line, and then pour it. Just try to get some on the sides, just a little bit. And then I fold it and then slide it in with the... Use a stick if you have to, but try not to use your finger itself because the glue is very hot. I can do this right now like this because I have my long nail. As you can notice, my nail is full of glue. And um, that's one way I've been doing it. Another thing is this, um, what do you call it? This towel that I'm using right now, it was a very old towel. I think I got it from Florida at least almost 20 years ago. And um, one side is like smooth, flat, and the other side has like, you know, that towel feel. And what I'm doing now is I'm folding it so that the smooth side is on the inside and the towel side is on the outside. I, I feel that it, it holds on to the glue better which it does. So that's how I'm going to do it. As you can notice here, look at all the glue from this glue gun. If I, if I don't work fast, you'll see a big glob there. So that's how it is. That's how this glue gun is. Like I told you, if you have a chance, don't get this glue gun. Next time I will try to, when I get money for it, I will, um, definitely do um, an expense, a very expense, a very, a, a, brr, an expensive glue gun is better to get than the cheaper ones because if you go cheaper, sometimes it's not, that's not a really good idea. So I think uh, next time I will get more of a, a good brand, pay just a little couple bucks more and then I will be more happier. There go glue on my face.
for so long. I've never used it. It came free with one of the glue guns. And I decided, you know what, I have these. I'm not using it for anything. I decided, you know what, I'm going to use it for this. I think we could use it and call it safe. Because um, you're using it on the bottom of it. The bottom part of it. And the front here, I already used normal glue. You can't see, you won't see it on the bottom when you from the inside part. So I decided, let's recycle. Like I always do. And I decided to use the other color glue, the glitter glue that I had extra. And I know you're saying, what? You never use it? Most of my projects, I usually work with um, stuff where I need to have clear um, uh, hot glue. So this is the first time I said, you know, now I'm going to do this. I'm going to use this kind of glue so then I can use this. And now that's how it's going to be. Oops. You'll see, you can't see it from here. I've been using now the pink. I used the dark blue. I used the gold, silver already, and you can't even see it through here. So I think that's a good idea. So that is a quick tip. If you have any glue, um, hot glue, and you want to use it, you can use it because if you're using it for the bottom, not for the top, you cannot see it. So I suggest to use it so you can recycle it so you don't have to worry about throwing it away or letting it sit around and do nothing. So everybody, I decided I wanted to make something um, a little different. So what I want to do now is I'm going to um, make a circle with this plate. It's not going to see through anyway. So I made my circle and now I'm going to fill this in with this dark blue color that I have. And then I'm going to go and fill this part up here with the red towel, which I still have to cut up. So let's take all my blue that I have here. So now I have the blue, and then I will fill it up the rest with this this other one, the hell, the hell, hell, with the lighter one. <clears throat> and now, then when we're done, like I said, I want to put the red here in the middle. see here 
I have tons of it. And let me, I still have a little bit of glue left from the glue gun that I cannot stand. And then I also have uh, my old glue gun that I'm, I have on right now. The only thing is I'm always afraid that the glue will come out from the other end, which usually does when it's too hot. But let's finish it. So now the inside part here is, the inside part here is going to be now red. So what I'm going to do is like always, we fold it. And now I'm not going to go around like this. So right now, all I'm going to do is go this way. Because then I can connect them better that way. So since this one is already hot, if I can press it down. See, I told you. It's not hot enough right now, even though there was glue coming out. And I still gotta wait. But so far I see that it's, it's, it's pretty thick. If you want, what you could do, I suggest that you, um, cut it, you know, shorten it you know don't make it as long as as this is here i would suggest maybe cut make it shorter when you make the str long strips and then you can fold it a little bit shorter so that it won't be so you know so as deep as the other one but i wanted it like this like i said before so I think how I'm going to do it, instead of going this way, I'm going to go the short way. I'm going to go this way because it's easier for me to work with. So what I'm going to do is going to go like this. And start with this end. Like I said before, um, when I'm totally done with everything, you're going to take a nice sharp pair of scissors. And then you can cut any odds and ends that are not even. You can cut them right away. So let's get this started. So, I'd rather do it like I did before because of the fact that it's faster to put them together gluing one piece at a time. finished with it and yeah I will do this now I will finish it off and um, yeah then I will show you how to trim whatever parts that need to be trimmed so everybody I am done now with the rug here you can see that I have some glue there because I was running out of my red but I seem to have just enough and um, now what I was wanted to show you is yeah, um, you're going to have a lot of little threads everywhere. You can take a vacuum and vacuum it if you want. Or if you prefer, like I said, I have this little pair of scissors. If there's anything here sticking out too far up and it looks odd on the rug, what you can do is just, just go over it totally flat. And if you see anything that's over, cut it. That's all you have to do. And, you know, um, 
Same thing goes with the hairs, the little hairs of the rug. Do the same thing. And that's it. Here we go. Just like I said, go over it, vacuum it. It's a very sturdy rug. It's not like those little thin, cheap, cheap ones that you can buy at the store. There was one that uh, rug that I was thinking about buying before, and it had like this foam in it that when you step on it, you feel nice and comfy and everything on it. But I realized most of the time when sponges stay wet at a long period of time, it creates mold inside. So that's one I would never buy one of those because it does create mold unless you never use it. That's different. But with the towels here, there is no foam. It is totally flowing through. There are some areas, like you see here, when you fold it you know, over the tub or something, it's not going to fall apart or anything. It's just going to dry, and then you can put it back on the floor once you're done. Even if you just step on it just a tad, and it doesn't get wet at all, and it's a little wet, it'll dry on its own, and it would be no problem. I think the rug, I think I did a great job with this. This is, you could say, four beach towels all together. And one normal towel, which was this one here. But, like, this is my idea what you can do. You can put initials on it if you want. Or you make a fish. It all depends. You can buy new towels. You don't have to use the old towels. I wanted to recycle, so this is how I did it. And, um, don't mind how I'm dressed. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> But anyway, this is, um, like I said, this is the, the how it's going to look. And I think it looks awesome. And, yeah, basically that's it. This is all, this is, this is how you do it. I mean, I didn't, I've never made a rug like this before. I've never seen anyone try to do something like this. It's either, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's usually, you know, a video where they, you know, take the towels and you sew them a little bit and then you braid it and sew it together. And I said, you know what, let me see if I can find something where, you know, you can be really creative. And, um, I mean, the other, the braided one is creative. Of course it is. I've done that. I have a video of it on my, um, page in my video section. I've done that one too, but I, that with old, um, t-shirts. And this is from old towels. Like I said, it's, it's comfy. It's going to be really nice. At the end of the video, there's going to be a picture of it in my bathroom. And I may even take my shoes off and step on it so I can, you can uh, make a little video at the end and show you how it looks. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you join my little family here. And I'll see you in my next video. Also... I wanted to let you guys know the few new videos that are coming out soon. Um, I'm going to be creating a coffee table because we don't have one myself out of wood and epoxy. So we'll see how that goes. This is without having to use all these big, huge machines for it. I'm going to do everything by hand. So that is one of the videos coming up. Other videos are going to be more about making coasters and working with epoxy. Um, I also wanted, was thinking about making jewelry with epoxy, so we'll see how that goes. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of a lot of new videos coming up. And I'm also going to be working with uh, toilet paper again, the toilet paper um, clay that I want to make. I was thinking about making a different method, and so that may be coming up too. Well, that will be coming up to you, not maybe. I will be busy doing all those kind of cool things. And that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, um, stay tuned for more videos coming up. And if there's anything you would like to add to what I just did here or how I can make it better or um, what you could use to do something like this with, please comment in the sections below. But like I said, my page is about being creative and recycling at the same time, but also being creative, doing work and with us. I like to work with recycling stuff because we need to preserve the earth better. And this is one way of doing it instead of throwing this in the trash. 
that'll give less trash. And now I have this. And even once this gets so used and it gets, you can't clean it and it looks dirty and whatever, what you could do is, if you have a porch, put it out on the porch for people when they come in so they can wipe their feet. So, And you can put this in the wash machine. I'm positive. I'm going to try to throw it in the wash machine after a few uses and I will, in one of my videos, I will just tell you how it came out and if anything fell apart or whatever. But if you wash this in normal wa temperature water, not hot, it should stay together when you wash it. It should be fine because um, trying to take these off um, was difficult. I, the ones like I told you that I um, braided, I think it was this end, I had to try to take them off. But I just took the braids off and no, it's not this end. It's one of the ends. Uh, this end and this end I had to glue them together so that they wouldn't fall apart but anyway I tried to take it off at first so I can redo it and I just couldn't I was breaking breaking this whole thing apart so it, there was no way I had to use pliers and everything so that's how stable I think this thing is I may be wrong I hope not but like I said I'll see you in my next video bye